The more pre-releases we play, the better we get. I have something that will help during the M19 pre-release, and we're starting right now! Reaching and teaching young mages of all ages. Welcome young mage, I'm Rhino. A lot of people really like core set pre-releases. The games don't use fancy new mechanics. And a lot of players think of it as real magic. Before we get started, let, tell me in the comments below, do you like core set pre-releases? We are all excited about the new core set. We have seen the spoilers and we're ready to play. Nothing beats knowing the cards really well, but if you haven't had a chance to look at all of the cards, we have compiled a cheat sheet using the suggestions of players much better than us. This cheat sheet can help you filter out cards quickly. The rating is a bit different this time. If there is a plus in the column, it's a really good card for that format. If there is a minus on the column, it's a card you probably don't even want to play. The first column is for the pre-release. The second is how it may do in standard. We got rid of the numbers to speed up the sorting. Even in car, uh, you can download your copy at the link below. Print it out and take it to your pre-release, or keep the digital copy. Each card is linked to Scryfall, so if you have any ruling questions, just click. And cards to watch out for in during the pre-release. Cards with lifelink. Lifelink is going to show up a lot during the pre-release. So if you have some good black and white cards, look for ways to gain life and drain your opponent. Tribal cards like elves, goblins, zombies, and dragons? During the pre-release, the elves won't be too great. Neither will zombies. You may be able to make a powerful deck using them, but they won't be the main focus. If you are playing green, you need to have the Elvish Rejuvenator. That's an awesome elf. And goblins have a lot of great cards, especially the Goblin Motivator. Remember, that creatures win games at the pre-release. Flying creatures can dominate the game. Hasty creatures can do a lot of surprises. And the Goblin Motivator can give your creatures that shot of espresso so they are ready to battle. And dragons. Lots of dragons. This time around, we have two color lands as commons. All ten of the color combos are available. And that means that the multicolored dragons will be easier to cast, even if you have a really strong two color deck. Adding a third color will be pretty easy with this pre release. So don't be afraid to add a little bit of a third color for those choice cards. Remember, 40 card deck, 17 lands, 17 creatures, and 6 spells. That's a great point to start from. And we can't forget the most important thing. Have fun. If you like this video and want to learn how to play magic better, subscribe. Just hit that right note down below. And ring the bell notification so you don't miss a single video. These videos are possible because of my friends and generous patrons. Check out the videos on the side. They will interest you. 
I have more videos coming out too. So until then, Rhino out. You can down your. Yeah. Like, Alright. So do you want to try?